evening. Astro News presents you English news at 7. First, let's see what we've got on the headlines. BJP government, both in centre and state, is the most deceitful party, alleges Congress spokesperson Emileke H. Joykishin. Freedom fighter Hypo Jadonang widely remembered on his 87th death anniversary. Agriculture Minister's assurance in vain farmers stormed landfill mechanized farm. And market shed at an estimated cost of 13,50,000 rupees will be constructed at Sivarakong village, announces Horticulture Minister T.H. Shamkumar. Proceeding with the news in detail. Spokesperson of MPCC MLK H. Joykishan has alleged BJP-led governments in both the center and the state of being the most deceitful governments. Joykishan was addressing media persons at Congress Bhavan today. He maintains that the deceives and the looting of the people by the BJP government in the state are slowly being revealed. The spokesperson stated that the hidden agenda behind the framework agreement will come to light before the code of conduct of the upcoming Lok Sabha election. <laughs> Manipur Speaking further, Joy Kishan alleged that the state government is indifferent to the plights of the people. He said instead of taking up development works for the welfare of the people, the government is busy levying number of taxes, including GST, on the citizens. BJP Nasi Prajam Yang Wari was said, Micham Prajam, Congressi Kermi, Congressi Tushi, the Bakanate, which will be Bung Sipa Pazam, Amasu, Napoleon, Napoleon, Mules, and Luxon, Napoleon, all the other than I have a set, Congress party in the South Tower. But then I took Matanda, Petro Gimoman, Diesel Gimoman, LPGD, and we should tell the Kamukis, ma'am, say, Masiki Moment, and Taro have a set, Quina, MPC Sina, BCP government, people warning me. Taking part in the press meet, Emily A.K. Mirabai inquired if the Ujwala scheme is for the poor or for hard workers of BJP. She maintains that the schemes of the government are for the downtrodden. Freedom fighter Hypo Jadonang was fondly remembered on his 87th death anniversary at Jadonang Park, Kaisampat today. Hypo Jadonang statue and park development committee in association with Hypo Jadonang death anniversary committee jointly organized the observance under the supervision of Zeliang Rong Union, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland. State integrity will be threatened if autonomous is given to each community stated Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar. He recalled the day when Hypo Jadonang was assassinated on August 29, 1931, on alleged charge of standing against the British. Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jayanta Kumar, President of Amuko P. H. Deban, UCM President Sunil Karam, and many leaders of different organizations attended the observance. Chairman at Sardens was observed as a mark of respect to the freedom fight. Zeliang Wang Union, Amuko and UCM submitted a memorandum to Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar demanding declaration of state holiday to widen Hypo Jadonang Park and also to observe his death anniversary annually. Deputy Chief Minister further said even though freedom fighter Hypo Jadonang is a leader of Zeliang Wang community, he fought against the mighty British for Manipur.
He assured that the three points included in the memorandum will be discussed in the cabinet meeting. What do we achieve? We are not achieving anything but disintegration of the state. See you later, we are team. BJP ในสายอาเดคริวานิคริโตเอฟซีคุยยามนะคุบนะยามนะควายคลีวีแฮปปี้ออบเซอร์วิงยามนี้ทุกคนก็คุยกันคุยกันคุยกันคุยกันคุย
13 lakh 50,000 rupees will be constructed at Sivarakong village. The minister made the announcement at the inaugural function of the three-day-long 9th Hathi Fanit Chili Festival today. The festival kicked off at Sivarakong village in Ukrul district. District Office of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Ukrul M. Kiran Kumar, Director of DIPR Bal Krishna and Joint Director of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Dina Chandra were the main guests at the inaugural function. Altogether, 21 chili stalls were opened at the festival. Minister Sham Kumar further said 4x4 vehicle will be provided for transportation of Sira Rakong products by September 20. He also donated a sum of 2 lakh rupees for the festival. <laughs> A teacher of Little Master English School Samuro Abujam Tombisana, 55 years from Samuro Awanglekai, allegedly raped a girl. The girl is reportedly a distant relative of the perpetrator. Irish locals vandalized a boarding building run by Tombisana following the incident. Abujam Tombisana managed to flee to the police custody last night. A public meeting regarding the incident is underway at Samuro. JC formed against a rape submitted a memorandum to the chief minister demanding befitting punishment of the culprit. Meanwhile, students launched protest demanding death penalty to the perpetrator. However, police pacified the students by holding dialogues with both the parties. Wankem MLA K. Meghachandra has inaugurated a water supply scheme constructed with an estimated cost of 40 lakh rupees under National Rural Drinking Water Program scheme today. The water supply scheme set up at Haya Labug under the jurisdiction of Public Health Engineering Department Wankem sets a target to supply at least 40 litres of water to each individual of Haya Labug village with a population of over 2,000 persons. Member of Kangabog Zilla Parishad K. H. Rajmohan, additional Chief Engineer of PHED L. Swami Kanta, Pridhan of Kangabog Part 1 Ningtoja Mala and Muhammad Nazir Ahmed were the main guest of the inaugural event. Speaking on the occasion, Emily Meghachandra appeals to the villagers to extend help to Village Sanitation Committee, which is in the charge of the water supply scheme. In connection with the Foundation Day of MSU, tree plantations were carried out by MSU Wangjing branch at schools, colleges and roadsides in Wangjing. The union aims to plant 1,000 trees in a month. The 11 power substation of MSPTCL Moray is full of lacking infrastructure. Most parts of fencing of the office are broken. The staffs are living at rented houses as there is no quarter for them. The construction of the second floor of the newly constructed office still remains incomplete. The staffs are facing a lot of inconveniences as the department has no vehicles to reach out to far-flung hill areas under the jurisdiction of the substation when there is disruption in the service. Repair works of disrupted wires are being carried out by borrowing vehicles 
Besides, the staff are facing a lot of inconveniences as there is no fixed number of staffs in the department. Speaking to Amore reporter Sanjoy, the officials drew the attention of the authority concerned and the government to look into the condition of the office at the earliest. Village chief church leaders and transporters began the repair work of 63-kilometer stretch of Ukrul Sangsak Road, which has been in a deplorable condition for a long time. Here is a report. ตําจอกขบินิชิไฮระบตาระจีสกานมีจําพูนมีเอ็นจําพีเรไฮระกาจิงดะซูยามยินชิบิบไฮสกาเบตานัยเนชั่นไฮเวย์ซีสับเจก
The Central Drugs Standard Control Organization, CDSCO, the National Pharmaceutical and Medical Devices Regulator, uploaded the report on its website. The report was submitted in February. Three patients affected by faulty hip implants manufactured by a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson and the relatives of two deceased have sought participation in any further deliberations regarding action to be taken on a report submitted by a committee set up by the Union Health Ministry on these medical devices. The key findings of the committee on August 24 constitute the first official's indictment in India against JNJ, which imported and sold ASR XL acetabular hip system and ASR hip resurfacing system in the country. These devices were globally recalled in 2010. The panel found that over 3,600 patients with the faulty implants remain untraceable and that at least four patients with the implants have died. Now before we wind up, a quick glance at the hotlines. BJP government, both in centre and state, is the most deceitful party, alleges Congress spokesperson Emily Gade Joykishan. Agriculture Minister's assurance in vain of farmers stormed landfill mechanized farm. Market share at an estimated cost of 13 lakh rupees 50,000 will be constructed at Sirarakong village, announces Horticulture Minister T. H. Shamkumar. This brings us to the end of today's news in English. Thank you very much for joining us. Good night.